Hi everybody, it's Helen, New England Thrifter. I'm at the Goodwill in Warwick, Rhode Island. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so I have some jewelry jars here. This one. Hard to tell. I don't see anything that really stands out. Oh my God, this one is $39.99. Ooh, that glass piece is intriguing. Let's see. I kind of like that Christmas one here. You're going to have to stay tuned to see if I got one at the end. I'll have a haul video. Okay, so Okay, so this is my favorite aisle usually in the Warwick Goodwill. Got some stamps here, I think those cats are terracotta. I believe they were like newer, but they were kind of cute. Little, they've been through it, but they were kind of cute. That was kind of cute too. Little derpy little sloth, I think. Oh, that's the infamous it candy, it looks like it's glass, it's plastic. I think I saw that on Roy. Roy got all the good stuff, I think, which is awesome. I really liked those, they were really nice, but they were $11.99 each. I probably should have looked them up. So, yeah, I'm not seeing much. There's my finger again. That was strange. I think it was plastic or like maybe paper mache. I couldn't figure it out. It was kind of creepy. I kind of liked it. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, you can't go into a, a thrift store without seeing a Red Sox. That's Mookie. Without seeing some kind of Red Sox player. Trying to be a little smoother with the camera. It's hard. Oh, I think that's Ray Dunn. It's very hard to like look for stuff and then film. Maybe I need to invest in a GoPro. I don't know. That they wanted a lot for that. I should have looked it up. It was how much was it? It was that one was broken too. I think it was like $7.99, which I thought was crazy. I'm not sure what those are. Little King Tut there. That was a... Um, What do you call it? a tourist piece? That's it. It looks like wherever I go, it looks like the um, it's a Christmas section. It looks like it's kind of wiped out. I haven't been thrifting in a while, so now I'm starting up again because I'm feeling a little better. So yeah, I don't know what's going on.
Oh, I love that piece. It was it was a little turkey. The only thing is it was a little damage to it, but I thought it'd be great for like Thanksgiving. I thought it was really kind of adorable, but but I didn't get it. Stay tuned till the end. You'll see what I what I scored if I scored anything. The little vintage buttons with this three ninety. Yeah, three ninety nine. I'm still learning the editing. Yeah, that's a little uh, riser for displays and little vignettes. That was kind of cool. That was ceramic, but it looked like maybe a couple got broken, but it was different. I never seen anything quite like that. I thought that little that was glass, but it wasn't. It was just wrapped in plastic. Some pretty glass, pretty clear glass. And the mugs. They didn't really have a lot in mugs, but you know, every so often I'll find a really good piece. Okay, now I'm at Savers in Warwick. Gonna check it out. I just donated something, so I have a 20% coupon. Let's see if I can find anything. All right, so here are the... These are a bunch of pads, ink pads. Hmm. I got lots of stamps. So yeah, these are the, the bags, the savers. Much. Okay, so I've kind of been through savers. I'm really disappointed I'm not finding much, but I'm at the jewelry. But I really love that, but I don't like the price. Look it! Upside down pineapple. So, yeah. Ooh, this is pretty too. It's kind of more than I like to spend, but I do have a 20% coupon. Uh, this is, I believe, glass. That's only, oh, that's a pen. Kind of like that. I really like that, but I don't know if there's enough real meat on the bones for that. Like it. Let's see what's over here. I like that, not the price. Their prices are kind of high, but sometimes things can slip through the cracks. Not that I'm the best at um, finding hidden gems, but that's the goal. You see, now this is $5.99 and it has some gems missing, which I have a problem with. If you're going to charge that much, at least have it be intact. Am I wrong? That's cute, but not for that price. That's kind of cool. What four ninety nine for that? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's go over to this one. See what we got. I like that angel. What is that? Just like some driftwood. Oh, look at the backs to that. Hmm. kind of neat. I don't see drums, drum sets very often. And I might be missing some good stuff. I just, I'm so addicted to the jewelry jars now. I just paying even $3.99 for something really, it has to be really Spectacular, I think. Well, I mean, I do have a 20% coupon. So, we'll see. Look at, is that a donkey? $4.99 for that. That is kind of cool. This is this is stone, feels like. Hmm. All right. I think that's it for now. Stay tuned till the end, see what, what I got, if I got anything. Right now, it doesn't look promising. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, yeah, so I went in Warwick. I went to um, Goodwill, and I went to Savers. So I paid 20% off everything. I had a coupon for Savers, and it was Old Lady Day and, um, at, the good, at Goodwill. So, yeah. So let's see what, I'm gonna show you the quickest haul first. Okay, so you probably saw in the video, I was kind of, these don't have a maker's mark. I was kind of trying to figure out if I should get that, and I just liked it. So it was 20% off. So it was $5.99 minus $120. So the price was $4.79, which was still a lot. But I just kind of liked it. And I do like lots of brooches. So these were $5.99, but I just, they're glass, pretty green glass little earrings. So again, $4.79 for these. And then I love, I think it's the color. Oh, I love butterflies, but I think it's the color, the orange that I love. $6.99, so this was, um, uh, this was a sport $79 too. So they were, were they all four seventy nine? Oh no, this one was, this one was five fifty nine. Okay, I didn't think that made sense because this was a little more. But so that was it. That was it for savers. I broke down. I got hi Teresa. I broke down. Got some jewelry. Okay, this is what I got at Goodwill, and I had a twenty percent off there too. I saw these buttons. They were three ninety nine. But I love vintage buttons. And I love that they're in this awesome container that I can use to organize all my stuff. So I just, well, all the crafting and stuff I try to do, I thought that was a great price. This was a little more than I like to pay, but it was $2.99. And I just kind of liked, it's a lighter wood. I like it for, um, 
to elevate items for displays or vignettes or whatever. So I thought this was really cool. I think it's an old. I don't know if it actually was one or it's just made to look like one, but good price. Okay, guys, here we go. Remember, 20% off. I paid a lot for these. <laughs> paid $39.99. But it's just so relaxing to go through them. I'm not seeing a ton. We'll see. I, sometimes you're surprised when you open it up and you see stuff that might be interesting. Was it a waste of money? We shall see. And then... They went all out. You know, go big or go home. That's what I say. This was $49.99. And again, it looked interesting. Hopefully there's some promising items in there. I don't know. But it does it never goes to waste because I always use I'm gonna um be doing my my Christmas jewelry trees and items and stuff and just my skull art. So hopefully I'll have, you know, it adds to the collection of bling that I can use for my crafting. So it's not really a loss. But yeah, guys, that's it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on my thrifting adventures and my crazy life. Um, I'll talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye.